Finally, General Zod, once trusted by this council, charged with maintaining the defense of the planet Krypton itself, chief architect of this intended revolution and author of this insidious plot to establish a new order amongst us, with himself as absolute ruler. You have heard the evidence. The decision of the council will now be heard. Guilty. 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 The vote must be unanimous, Jorel. It has therefore now become your decision. You alone will condemn us if you wish, and you alone will be held responsible by me. Join us. You have been known to disagree with the Council before. Yours could become an important voice in the new order, second only to my own. Get out of here! I offer you a chance for greatness, Jorel. Take it! Join us! You will bow down before me, Jorel. I swear it. No matter that it takes an eternity, you will bow down before me! Both you, and then one day, your heirs! Again, uh, the caste system in, in, um, in, in, the, in the Hindu uh, part of the world, they say they're breaking it down now, but the caste system is a bloody unbelievable racism. And I have to say this, don't support the caste system and talk to me about racism, thank you very much. And, and then you've got Christianity, only through believers in Jesus can you get to heaven. Mr. 10%. Now, only through another form can you get somewhere. And I control that form, so hey, here we go. It's the same gods that we're feeding. They set up these religions and their uh, puppets did. At the highest, highest level in the religions, they know this. So the rest of the pyramids don't. And the idea of religions is to lock people in a belief system that cuts out all other possibility. No, no, no don't tell me about that. No, 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 I believe in Jesus. No, no, no. Well, just have a look at it and then think, see what you think. No, 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 no. And that then locks you in to a digital tunnel, tunnel vision. And the other way that religions are used is divide and rule. And it's all based on the sun-moon religion, the same sun-moon religion. Um, in Babylon, they had a trinity of Queen Samirimis, also known as Ishtar or Istar, Nimrod, the sun god, she was the moon goddess, and Tammuz, who was the virgin-born son of Nimrod and Samirimis. And they said that um, Samirimis was impregnated by Nimrod as the rays of the sun, and gave birth to Tamos, who was a reincarnation of Nimrod. Now, out of that little lot, you've got the Christian religion. Virgin birth of the Son of God, and Father and Son are one. Samirimis, this is uh, in uh, Iraq today, in Babylon, in Iraq today, the rebuilt Ishtar Gate. She was the goddess of Babylon, and uh, you can see her everywhere. This is an original Babylonian relief depiction of the Babylonian goddess and she was um, very much associated with the symbolism of the owl. And as these bloodlines and their religions uh, expanded out into the rest of the world, um, they started to um, take different forms, but the same basics foundation uh, of the religions was the same. Um, no surprise, therefore, that when you go to the Vatican and Rome, uh, which was the Church of Babylon relocated, it is a mass of Babylonian symbolism, because um, that's the basis of their religion. So when they moved to Rome and created the Roman Church, Christianity, um, they took all the attributes that were given in Babylon to Queen Samirimis, Queen of Heaven, Virgin Mother, um, all the rest of it, and they gave them to Mother Mary. Because what they did was they changed the Babylonian trinity of Nimrod the Father God, Tamos the Son, and Samirimis the Goddess. When they moved to Rome, they made it the, or, the God, the Lord God, God Almighty, in other words, Nimrod. Um, the uh, Son of God became Jesus, and the third point became the Holy Spirit. 
which they symbolized, because they took the goddess out of it, which they symbolized as a dove, which is the symbol that the Babylonians used for um, Queen Semiramis. So this is why there is the Babylonian depiction of Semiramis and Tammuz, and this is a Christian church. Same again. Um, this is a picture I took last Christmas in uh, Rome when I was there for a television program, and uh, that appears to be um, Jesus and Mary. Actually, it's Semiramis and Tammuz under another name. This is Isis um, of Egypt and Horus, the virgin-born son of um, Egypt. Again, it's just another version of Semiramis. You find them everywhere. And so Isis and Horus become Jesus uh, uh, and Mary. And all over the world you find this same mother and uh, virgin-born son uh, or, or child religion. And it's because it comes from the same source, controlled by the same force. Uh, this is an ancient depiction of Semiramis with the points in her head here. And um, here's the Statue of Liberty, which is Queen Semiramis. It was given to New York by French Freemasons in Paris who knew exactly what it really symbolized, and it weren't bloody liberty. Again, just Queen Semiramis. Um, on top of the Congress building, you've got the Goddess of Freedom. Same bloody woman, or same symbol. Uh, the goddess of the French Republic, same thing, Semiramis. As the bloodlines moved up into Europe and France, they took it with them. This is the, the goddess Columbia, relating to uh, America and uh, Washington, D.C. and stuff, same. And then we come to Nimrod, um, who was uh, also known uh, as Baal and Bel in different aspects. And Nimrod was the sun god of Babylon. Dima, sin bearer, anointed one, and the Alpha and Omega. He was identified with the ram or the lamb. He was hung on a tree or crucified. These people are all over the ancient world. It's just a recurring story. It's a story of the sun god. Symbols of the sun. Not real people. The rising sun was a symbol used for uh, Nimrod, uh, Tammuz and Horus. So Jesus, Christ has risen. Christ is Jesus, is the light of the world. Revelation, behold, he is coming with clouds and every eye will see him. He walked on water, the sun. And so you'd expect in the home of the Babylonian church in Rome that uh, you'd have the same symbolism. This um, evergreen tree, symbol of Nimrod in, um, in Babylon, that's an original uh, obelisk from ancient Egypt in front of it. This is above the chair of St. Peter, the sun and the dove, Semiramis, in the middle of it. There's sun symbolism all over the place. Again, the sunburst in the uh, dome. In the other religions, you find this is Mormonism. These are the symbols you find around the Mormon uh, uh, temple in Salt Lake City. The sun, the rising sun. This is from Ur in uh, what is now Iraq, was Babylon Sumer, from about 2000 BC. And it is a symbol of the sun and moon goddess of, of that area of Mesopotamia. This today is the international symbol of Islam. You go into the other areas of the world, you find the same sun god, moon goddess. They're the same religion and they get their followers to feed the energy into the same gods that have created those religions. Vampiring that energy, closing the mind, creating a prison, dividing and ruling. Which brings us to secret societies, and of course religions are against secret societies, except another coordinate. The secret society network and the religions worship the same gods as each other. Guess who they are? This is the Eye of Ra, or the Eye of Horus, it's also uh, termed. It's a massive symbol of the Illuminati, these bloodlines that sit atop the secret society network. That's why you have the all-seeing eye on the dollar bill, put there in uh, the 1930s. It's the eye of CBS, Columbia Broadcasting. Columbia comes from a name meaning dove, Columba. AOL, the, the eye and the pyramid, from these corporations controlled by these bloodlines using the symbolism that the religions are based on. There is the rising sun in a Freemasonic lodge. There's the rising sun in the Vatican in Rome above one of the old popes 